centered on mobile pretty quickly compared to the web because um, although there's a lot of opportunity to produce inexpensive web content, there isn't really a lot of monetization because the problem is, is that all the freedom that the web provides takes away the focus of eyeballs, right? And it's the focus of eyeballs that's the basis of monetization in television. You know, the whole, the ratings and things like that, you know. So um, that's, I saw more of a potential with mobile to be uh, a programming platform. For instance, having been in, in mobile for uh, these six years, very early I was, I was looking at the idea of original content for mobile. Well now that's kind of shifted in the last year into more of a transmedia play because as these marketplaces mature, uh, it's, be, it's, it's now become a focus on taking the broadcast brands and building them out into these other platforms. So it's not just really a matter of having a marketing website for a television show, but it's all about can you have an original content and can you have an original content in mobile. And uh, mobile is kind of interesting because it's, it's not just a matter of having an app, which is, is sometimes the, 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 um, the flavor of the moment, um, but it's also the whole idea of the mobile web, you know, because this is basically going to be the same as a laptop. You know what I mean? So the technology is something that, that is always an evolution, but it's just really a matter of how storytellers can reach an audience. And different content relates to different platforms. They should definitely, I mean, there are, obviously Korea has this rich tradition of storytellers. So there's, there, the, 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 the hardest part is telling good stories. And the Korean market has already proven they can do that you know, the dramas and things like that. You know, they're, they've got the rich tradition, they have these wonderful stories that reach a, uh, you know, they're very successful in China. You know, definitely it's not just for the Korean audience. It's a, it's a product that has a mass appeal. So I think the advice is, is, is to really uh, look and see how American companies are starting to embrace this notion of multi-platform and then try to reach an audience in the same way. So in my, the, the panel I was just on, I mentioned um, Grey's Anatomy, which is an American TV show, created an iPad app and experience that related to the show, to where you would actually, as you're watching the show, have extra content on the iPad as you're watching simultaneously. So this, is, this application they created is, being, uh, is nominated for the Emmy Award for Excellence. So that would be a great example of looking at what they've done with this American show could you develop that same kind of multi-platform experience for a successful Korean drama? And I would say yes. So the people that are the big innovators are the ones that are breaking the rules because they don't know the rules. They're very much living within the moment. They just see a good idea. They don't see, oh, you can't do that. And if you look at some of the companies that have really changed things, like a Facebook and a Twitter, these come from places that are not seasoned veterans. These are just young people with interesting ideas. So for the young people here in Korea, where you already have this great tradition of storytelling, it's really just thinking about um, uh, the audience and how you feel uh, you know, you'd want to, to tell a story or send a story or whatever it's going to be, and then be involved in making it happen.